It is almost Halloween. I love stories about vampires, werewolves, goblins, witches and ghosts. Do these archetypes have a negative energy? Am I affecting my spiritual growth by reading about these characters or watching them on television or writing about them myself or dressing up like them, thinking about them? Am I damaging myself? Each image, presentation, visualization, picture, archetype, being, landscape or matrix holds both negative and positive polarity. The reason for this is it is viewed through the eyes of the one in physical form who sees in a dualistic sense when taken from an en masse perspective. As each individual contributes to the grid of light or field of consciousness through their own random and focused thoughts, these archetypes hold life force, if you will. Predominantly, this is indeed a negative presentation. For the vampire takes energy, indeed drains energy from another in order to sustain itself. The witch controls the other for her own nefarious means. The werewolf, out of control, is a threat through primal aggression and so on. Yet whilst this is the predominant overview, due to the random and focused thoughts of humanity, each individual is the master of their own reality. And as they change their past, future, quantum timelines and present reality through their workings with the matrix grid around them, so too can they change archetypal presentation. Or should we say, call to themselves archetypal presentation of like vibration. This is, from the physical individual's perspective, an act of creation or perhaps an upgrade from a current creation. From the perspective of the archetype, it is simply a communication across the dimensions between an organic physical life form and a non-physical thought form aspect. From the archetype's perspective, the self, the body and the existence within their own reality is as real as yours is. From the true perspective, the higher perspective of source, you are both one and the same individual. Therefore, this creation or calling will have its polarized counterpart. These counterparts indeed filter into the subconscious thought processes within a growing minority humanity. The counterparts are created by aware individuals who are in a state of polarization into a service to others frequency or who have already polarized into a service to others frequency. Therefore the vampire will present as moving against its own inherent nature, restraining itself from taking energy from the one, the few or all of that which would have been its sustenance from a service to self perspective. The complete flip from negative into positive polarity would produce the vampire of light. He or she who gives energy and sustains life rather than feeds and drains. The witch becomes the healer and the werewolf the protector and so on. Humanity is becoming more and more aware of the negative into positive polarization. As humanity clears their fields and sees themselves within the presented archetype. Therefore, the answer to your question is both yes and no. The archetypes you speak of are simply reflections of self. If you hold light, awareness and a polarization of service to others, then you can indulge your thought processes as much as you desire with these archetypes and your spiritual growth and expansion can only be enhanced for all presentation of archetypes and hyperspace characters are simply aspects of self and thus tools for learning and expansion. If there is a stagnant energy within an individual holding fear-based, service-to-self or lower vibrational emotional fields, 
then indeed the thought processes focusing on these archetypes would affect one's growth and expansion in a negative sense and be counterproductive to growth. Therefore, for he or she who has not yet reached full polarization and unity consciousness, at least within the realms of understanding and processing, we would suggest they keep the archetypal visualization pure. Drawing angels, ascended masters, rainbow light beings and crystalline color grids into their reality. If however the darker archetype enters into the pristine fifth dimensional field, then this in itself is a teaching tool and is to be welcomed or treated with indifference rather than fear or resistance. The teaching tool works both ways and is expansive for both incarnated human in physicality and darker presentation of service to self archetype. Halloween or Samhain is the ideal time to connect with these archetypes as they are strong within the consciousness fields of humanity. However, there are many who reject these archetypes and stand in great resistance to them at this time. This creates a battleground mentality within the resistant individual which is counterproductive to spiritual growth from one perspective. Yet it is also a tool for growth and expansion from another perspective. Nothing is wasted. No emotion, sense, connection, experience or visualization is in vain. All fields hold merit even that which appears repetitive and stuck. When one is stuck, one appreciates movement. When one finds movement, one appreciates stillness. There are many aspects, layers and levels to one's overall expansion. If you are drawn to working with the darker archetypes or Halloween based image at this time, and you do so with a pure heart, then follow this calling. For you, it may well be part of your blueprinted pre-incarnate destined path. For example, the scribe who teaches through story will find himself or herself working with these archetypes. The artist who presents the image may also find himself called by these archetypes. It is the emotional feeling created within that is the aligned guidance system to take note of. The archetypal presentation, be it imagery, picture, word, sound or other, is simply the tool, the trigger. Follow the emotional feeling and this will lead you always towards the light. Regardless if a white winged angel or a black cloaked vampire walks by your side. If you hold a pure heart, both archetypes will be benevolent and shall hold your hand, teach you, protect you, learn from you and become your friend. We are the white winged collective consciousness of nine. I am delighted to announce Sacred Quest, my brand new collection of guided meditations. Journey through a rich tapestry of inner visions as I guide you through enriching fables, mysterious landscapes and sacred soul teachings. You are invited to embark upon an adventure, become a character in a story as you follow these guided meditations into the deepest recesses of your inner visionary potential. Each guided meditation is a trigger into your own DNA activation, expansion and healing. Each meditation is in itself a spiritual journey. Join me as we embark upon your sacred quest. Instant download at magentapixie.com